How's it going everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video of Pink Island Survival. <laughs> Nearly forgot the name then. We're back playing Minecraft in our Survival Island series. And yeah, we're going to make more progress on the base. We are, get, we are getting there. It's, it's taken on a lot of episodes already. But it's a big project. That's how you want it done. It'd be perfect. To be honest, the only reason I built it for the item sort of, and it's gonna take a lot longer than I thought it would. <laughs> but now I've been building this, I've got barely any resources, so it's fine. <laughs> it kind of solved a problem building this base. But as you can see, we're starting to put in the chests. Planning out the ice paths and all that fun stuff. Not fun, but is what is. <laughs> well, it is fun, kinda. But as you can see, we started to put in the chest. We're gonna start putting in the actual item sorter. Well, this is gonna be a project that goes on for a while. Also, it's gonna. Yeah, it's gonna definitely take a couple of episodes. The base probably be done before even the item sort is. But I think we still got a little while before the base being done. We do make a, quite a bit of progress in this video. You can see I've started to put in the walls. This is gonna go a lot higher. Yeah, definitely a lot higher. We need to get some nice shots. And now we've got an actual bedroom. We're starting to fit in some of the rooms in. Can I call them rooms? It's all pretty much a one big room. It's kind of separated what's quite a good thing. As you can see, we've got like some a crafting table. I'm gonna put a furnace in there as well, just in case. This is essential stuff you need right next to your bed, <laughs> just in case you need to wake up and do something. As you can see, we're putting in some. What is it? It's not saying as you see. We're putting in some. <laughs> oh, what's it called? Some repeaters and all that fun stuff, just to. Build the item sorter. I don't think I can really take credit for this design because I've seen this design done a thousand times by a thousand different people. We pretty much detect how many items are in the hopper and then that will determine how many items can go through. You kind of block off the hopper with like a redstone current. So it's quite a good system. You do waste a little bit of item just for the item so or sort of alone but you can probably negate that if you use named items and all that fun stuff just don't use it put the named items in the actual oh what's it called system that's what it called <laughs> and that might mess up a few things but it's gonna be an ongoing project you're gonna get a lot bigger As you can see, I've just come back from Treasure Hunt to get some moss. I'm adding some like details to the wall just to make it a bit more impressive. I've changed, yeah, I've changed that for <laughs> changed that bush. No, not impressive. It's just so it don't look as symmetrical. If that's the right way of saying it. The step reach up the pa um, pattern up a bit. There's a much nicer effect, especially when you're close up. When you're far away, it's noticeable, but it's not as noticeable. And it don't help, I've actually used some green in the build already. <laughs> 
<laughs> Definitely that bottom part. But we do make some good progress. As you can see, I've started to get a bit higher with stone bricks as well. But that's going to be another just, I don't know, big pillar. Still got to put windows and all that in it, but you'll see the um, progress. I've started to like build out the shape of it. Now I'm going to start de detailing it. And there's definitely going to be like another layer of wall. As you see, we have definitely a lot higher now. <laughs> It's raining unfortunately, but at least you get to see some of the progress. It does get quite tall. But I do want this base to be f like quite tall, to be honest. Obviously now they've got the um, build limit a lot higher. I'm not as restricted, that makes sense. Making it sound like we're very high up, but we're only like a, what, a couple of blocks off the ground at the moment. Hopefully when you go up there, it's a lot higher. But now we've got a little room coming off it as well. Started in putting some, oh, what's it called, some lamps. Well, not a close time, but I started to put in some <laughs> Light sources, just to help with the spawn. We've only had one creeper explosion at the base, so I didn't catch that on camera either. It was at times. Only blew off a bit of the roof, but still, I had to replace it. I don't know if I fully replaced it or not. Can't remember. <laughs> I don't know, this happened in the last episode, the, obviously the iron farm wasn't working, but now it is. That might happen in the last episode, but I did fix it eventually. <laughs> and then the iron sort of broke because I used dirt and I think it ended up being picked up. <laughs> so that was great. Definitely didn't mess up a couple of things. <laughs> And now we've got, that's how tall, oh yeah, I do show you, yeah, very much taller. <laughs> and yeah, we started to build an extension onto the, um, what's it called? Tree farm. There's probably going to be another extension because I do want to get mangrove. But we've also had some bits coming off the build, put some roofs in. Need to deal out the roof a lot more as well. Yeah, there's, there's still plenty of work to do on this space. I might try and break it up at some point and try and work on a different base. Not base, like a different building. Just to have a break from whatever this is turned into as you can see as well we started to use a gradient because I didn't want the base to get lighter as it goes up and the only reason I want to do that because I want to end up using the pink wood for the top bit <laughs> so I've got a bit gradients and wood and why I'm extending <laughs> the tree farm like, I don't know if I've said it before, no, none of this is planned, like, this is off a whim trying me thinking like, oh this will look good. <laughs> it looks alright so far, but... <laughs> and I do test like one or two things on like a creative world, like a copy of the world or something like that. Just to see if I like it or not. 
but most of this build is just made up on a whim. So I don't know how it's going to end up. I've got somewhat of an image in my head. I do and I don't. <laughs> yeah, now we've got these off bit. They've got like cool little top bits as well. Yeah, just a lot of. Yeah, very noisy as well, I've noticed. It's, a, it's not a good, well, it is a good thing. Because this means it's highly detailed, but when you're far away, it can look a bit messy. <laughs> so then try and figure that out with all the um, windows and all that. I think it might just look a bit stranger just because of the fact that the bottom part has all got like windows and all that stuff and the top part is pretty much a wall with some roof but as you can see we've got a little pathway going into the circle of rooms or the towers that's what they are <laughs> yeah, you can see quite tall I know the gradient seems a bit tight, but it's, the gradient's going into a great. It's like going into the gradient instead of the straight gradient in because I've got three blocks in mind. I'm not going to say what they are, but I do have three blocks in mind. But the only good thing is the base is actually getting easier to build because it gets smaller. Oh. And this is where I fail. Thank you all for watching, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Good. Bye. Sweet.